Bills fans have questions. Um, our prize possession, our prize star, our franchise quarterback is Josh Allen. Um, how did J Josh Allen score and how you're seeing it translate to the field, right? It's been a slow progression, and then he just took off last year. Uh, what What is it that stands out for you from what he scored and how he's progressed right now? Yeah, Josh Allen's funny to me because I, I have three Josh Allens in my database. I had a, a guard from some years back. Of course, we had the pass rusher a year or two ago, and then Josh Allen, the quarterback. And all three of them were like God-tier athletes. All, all three of them were great athletes. So if you got a guy coming out in the draft and his name is Josh Allen, good chances of a great athlete. <laughs> good. <laughs> um, I mentioned before, you know, there's a lot of things that don't get tested when we're looking at these metrics, and quarterback is the easiest position to point to. There's so many things that don't go into athletic testing that makes a quarterback successful. You know, arm strength is a huge deal. Josh Allen has probably the best, if not the best, the second best arm in the NFL, depending on who you ask, but no worse than second best. That's not measured in any test that we have. And the only test we use to measure that is the radar gun at the combine. And that's a horrible way to test that. Um, you know, he's, he's a great athlete on the football field. He moves really well. Um, he's fast. He's big. He's got all those athletic traits you want. And you see that when Josh Allen is playing, he moves really well. When he's on the run, he's a bear to take down. He's smart and quick with his feet. All of that stuff showed up on tape going all the way back to college. It, it's always been there. He tested exactly how he looked like he should have tested, right? Great athlete. Um, all those other things, you know, the, the uh, accuracy, the ability to read defenses, that's not covered in a metric like this. And you can't really take a metric like this to, to show this guy is going to be a great quarterback unless you're just talking about the mobility portion. If you're talking about how mobile a guy is and how well they can move, by all means, this is a good way to start. You, you're, you're, you can look at some of the things that they do. Um, I tend to think that the three cone is a little bit more representative of how a player a quarterback runs than okay. the 40 yard dash. Uh, just because you're in a pocket, Jerry, you're maneuvering around a pocket rather than just taking off and running. Um, Josh Allen did great there. He's, uh, he ran a 6'9 at 237 pounds, which is crazy regardless of the position. Um, but you don't get a lot of quarterbacks that, that measure that way. And he did fantastic. Um, Josh Allen's in, an easy eval from an athletic standpoint because he, he tested pretty much exactly how he looks on tape. Now, I'm, I'm, this is off the cuff right now because uh, I just happened to be – so months ago, um, maybe a couple months, three months ago, Nick Wright um, was um, was on TV and he was he was talking about uh, quarterback Deshaun Watson and um, and how there there's there was trade talk and every team should be interested in trading for Deshaun Watson, right? Uh, and I had my opinion that I felt that Deshaun Watson uh, in the moment right now is better than Josh Allen, minuscule or not. I just feel he's the better quarterback. Doesn't take away from me loving Josh Allen, so. Do you, what was the rat and, and this is off the cuff, so you might have to look it, but what was the RAS score for, for uh, Deshaun Watson? Uh, because I remember him coming out of college, um, not a super athlete, but athletic enough that he could do all the great things that you see him doing on the field now. Yeah. And he's way more athletic than he, than he got a chance to showcase when he was at Clemson. He tested really well. He had a 9.24 out of 10, which is okay. a, little, a little bit south of what Josh Allen had. And a lot right. of that's because he's smaller than Josh Allen. He ran a better 40 yard dash. Uh, he had a better shuttle time. He had a lot of better tests than Josh Allen did, but he's also significantly smaller than Josh Allen. Right. Um, so he got a little bit of a lower score, but he still had a 9.24. Um, he's also a really good example. I mentioned just a minute ago how you shouldn't really trust the radar gun at the combine because it's not yep. a great way to measure that. Um, Deshaun Watson measured horribly for arm strength at the combine. Mm. He, had, he had one of the worst um, MPH for a passer in some some odd year, some ridiculous amount of time that he had the worst worst score. So it's it's just one of those things where like a football field is 300 yards, a mile is 5,280 feet. These aren't comparable measurements. That you can look at and say these are these are close enough that we can we can measure those together. You know, it's it's a little different when you're looking at stuff that that far apart. But uh, Watson measured he measured really good. I, I think if, I think he was a little hurt coming out too, um, so that might have impacted it a little bit. But he tested really well. Yeah. yeah.